So welcome, welcome to Everyday Mathematics. So today's problem comes from the MIT 2024 integration, big quarter finals number two. And the problem we'll be looking at is problem number three, which is the definite integral from x equals to zero to x equals to one of open bracket one minus the 2024th root of x, close bracket to the power 2024. So it's a very interesting problem. Uh, before I try to solve it, I'd like to thank our subscribers. Thank you so much for the support you've given us. Uh, your support means a lot. And it is uh, your support that encourages us to come here day in, day out. To our first time visitors, I'd like to uh, just I welcome you and also um, just give you a brief background of what we do here at Every Mathematics. What we do is we go about on a run and look for interesting problems. We come back and we share with you the solution that we think do benefit, benefit these problems. To the first time, uh, those of us who are here for the second or third or fourth time but uh, haven't yet subscribed to our channel, I'd like to encourage you to consider subscribing to our channel. So this problem, we have uh, two methods that we'd like to solve it with. And uh, these two methods are kind of interconnected. But let's begin with the first method. So the first thing I would do is I would say, let u be equal to 2024th root of x, such that uh, u to the power 2024 equals to x. And so uh, 2024 uh, times u to the power 2023 du dx equals to one. And so um, 2024 u to the power 2023 du uh, can be substituted for dx. Now, um, what is interesting is when x equals to zero, you would still be zero. When x equals to one, you would still be one. So when we do the substitution for zero, for x equals zero, we have u equals to zero. For x equals to one, we have u equals to one. And then for the 2024th root, we have u. And then um, obviously one minus u, the part is 24 times in place of dx, we have 2024 times u, the part 2023. That's interesting because um, another way we would include this um, here is the same as one minus u to the power 2024 times d at the derivative of u to the power 2024. And so uh, this can be expressed uh, in the form of u dv, right? Where um, this is integration by parts, and u would be equated to one minus u to the power 2024, mm -hmm. and v would be u to the power 2024. So I said, uh, when you're doing integration by parts, it's the same as uv minus the integration of v du, right? So now, since we know our u and our dv, then our uv is therefore um, there for the product this and this. So we have u to the power 24 times 1 minus u to the power 24 now uh, within limits of given properly, minus now our du is the derivative of 1 minus u to the power 24, which is 20, minus 24 times 1 minus u to the power 23 times our v, which is u to the power 24. Now, uh, with this, as we know, uh, the limit of u tending to one for this, uh, one minus one would be zero. So zero times one would be zero minus uh, limit of u tending to zero. Um, this u to the power of the four would tend to zero. So zero times one to the power of the four, this would be zero. And so we are left essentially with the integration of 2024 times uh, 2024 times the integration from u equals to zero to one with one minus u to the power of 23 times u to the power of 24. Now uh, we can continue. Um, now u to the power of 2024 can also be uh, expressed as the derivative of u to the power of 25 over 2025. And then the process continues as follows. We have u v is the product of u to the power of 25 the power 25 over 25 times one minus is the power 23. And so the constant now becomes 224 over 225. And as you can see, minus, uh, keeping the same constant here, minus minus the derivative one minus u to the power 23 is the same as minus 23 times one minus u to the power 22. 
So continuing further, um, as we can see, um, the limit uh, on the upper side of this uh, limit, uh, this here tends to zero because one minus one to the power of number three is zero times one to the power of number five, so this is zero. And also when u tends to zero, uh, zero to the power of number five is zero, times one to the power of number three is also zero. So as we can see, this 2023 negative times this minus here, we get now 2024 times 2023 over 2025 times the integration from u equals to zero to u equals to one of one minus u to the power 2 times u to the power 2025, right? And so the problem continues because now u to the power 2025 can also be expressed as the derivative of u to the power 2026 over 2026. Right, and then uh, using again integration by parts, the process continues. Where in the denominator here now we have two hundred twenty-five times two hundred twenty-six, in the numerator of two hundred four times two hundred twenty-three, and then this is v, this is u. Again, as you can see, the limit at one and limit at zero, this thing tends to zero. Minus, minus, we again have the same constant times 2022, which is a derivative of 2022 times one minus u to the power 2021, which is a derivative of one minus u to the power 2022. So this negative and this negative we can interact and we have a positive. And so eventually we have now 2024 times 2023 times 2022 over 2005 times 2026 times the integral from u equals to zero to u equals to one of one minus u to the power to the power 21 times u to the, times u to the power to the power 26. So this process really continues. And eventually, um, as we go on, we realize that 2024 times 2023 times 2022 times on and on up to um, maybe the value of k over 2025 times 2026, keeping on increasing up to 2024, plus 2024 minus k, and then times the integral from u equals zero to one of u, one minus u to the power k minus one. Um, as we keep going, times u to the power 24 plus 24 minus k. So it, this continues, it goes on and on and on until we arrive at the value of one, right? And then uh, in the denominator, we have 2025 times 76 over 4047. And what we're left with the integral in the integral is u to the power of 4047. And then that last integral now uh, leads to now uh, that constant multiplied by u to the power 2000, 2048, I mean 4048 over 4048. Um, and applying in those limits, and this is 4048. Uh, we have one over 4048, right? And so this is the same as 2024 factorial because we have 2024, the way multiplied up to one. And then in the denominator, we have 2025 multiplied all the way to 4048. So we are missing in the denominator 2024 factorial to make it 4048 factorial. So we can put the 2024 uh, factorial in the numerator, and now we have 4048 factorial in the denominator. So this is the same as one over 4048 factorial over 2024 factorial times 2024 factorial. So going forward, um, this means that uh, we do have um, 2024 is the same as 4048 minus 2024. So this is one over the binomial constant or coefficient of 4048, 2024. And this is the answer um, for this uh, interesting problem. There's also another way we could solve it. The second way would be, would go about substituting uh, for x with u. Um, mm -hmm. And so let u be equal to 224 uh, root of x. And so to the, use the part 24 would be equal to x. And so 24 times u the part 23 du dx equals to 1. And so you can now substitute for dx with 224 
times with the part is that way, 3 T U, right? And so going on, uh, we just substitute as we said previously, but with these um, binomial expansion of one minus two to the part is under four, we have now the summation from k equals to zero to the 24 of the binomial coefficient to the 24 k. And then uh, because we have a negative view, so we have times the power negative view to the power k times to the 24 times to the 23. I mean, you the part is 23. So uh, how we can go about again going, we could now pull the constant out, 24 out. Now we have the integral of the summation from k equals to zero to the 24 of the binomial coefficient to the 24 k times, now we pull the negative one out, we have times negative one, the power k times with the power k times with the power 2023. So the u's can now be uh, bunched together. And so we have negative one, the power k times u the power k plus 23. And so um, since integration of a uh, sum of uh, elements the same as the sum of the integration of the specific elements. So we can now push in this integration. Now um, everything else become a constant. Now we have to focus on the integration from u equals to zero to equals to one of u to the power k plus 2023. So um, now um, focusing on the integral, we have now a one over k plus 2024 times u to the power k plus 2024 uh, with uh, the limits applied appropriately. So we have our answer being 2024 times the summation from k equals to zero to 2024 of the binomial coefficient 2024 k times minus one to the power k times one over k plus 2024. And so um, our answer is the sum from k equals to zero to 2024 from 2024 of the binomial coefficient to the 24 k times two, uh, negative one to the power k times 24 over k plus 2024. So what this tells us essentially is that um, the summation from k equals to zero to 2024 of the binomial coefficient to the 24 k times negative one to the power k uh, times 2024 over k plus 2024 is equals to one over the binomial coefficient 4048-2024, right? Um, which is interesting because I could probably deduce that uh, the summation from k equals to zero to n of the binomial coefficient n k Um, times negative one k times n over k plus n equals to one over two uh, n something like that. This is um, a very interesting uh, relationship that um, we learn from this integration, where n here is 24, right? Uh, and 2n is 4048. And, and yeah, that's, that's a nice relationship that we can deduce from this uh, integral. So it's been an absolute pleasure um, going through this uh, integration. Uh, it was cool. Um, but yeah, if you have any question, if you have any um, any doubts, any things you want um, to clarify or suggestions for simpler methods, uh, please feel free to leave your comment in the comment section. I uh, would be gladly uh, would be waiting for, for for that interaction. Thank you so much. Until next time, tout à l'heure, à la prochaine fois.